everybody, this is Tsunami Aura, and today we're going to be discussing Samurai for PvP and Crystal Conflict. Let's just dive right into it. Alright, so now that we know that we're going to be talking about Samurai, here's a striking dummy. We're going to show some of the abilities real quick and which they are. Alright, we're going to start off with our Kasha combo. Kasha combo is going to have three abilities. But three abilities will be Yukaza, Gecko, Kasha. When using them combined with Hitsatsu, Soten, they will change their abilities. First one will bind them which is going to be Hayosetsu. The second one will be Mengetsu, which is deliver an ability that does damage to all nearby enemies for AK. The third one will be Oka. Oka will deliver an attack with a potency of 5,000 to all nearby enemies as well. It absorbs 100% of the damage dealt as HP. This can be really good for sustaining. So a lot of Samurais don't usually use this or don't understand the combo, but this here will give you the ability to lock people down, do extra more damage, and keep you alive for survivability. We're going to talk about Ogi. Ogi is going to be a great ability that you're going to use that you can use for single target or use it for multiple targets. It is double the potency of 8,000 uh, to 16k pretty much when it's a single target. If it's multiple, then it is split out just like that, and then you're going to get a barrier put on you. So this is really good for single targets or uh, double targets or triple targets. Depends on the situation you're in. So use this wisely. If you're using it to get to a single target and burst them down really quick, this can be really well used. And it's also really well for survivability in the middle of a fight when you have multiple enemies in front of you as a shield to shield yourself. Hisetsu Chitin. Great ability. Used for great situations. Also in com combination with your ultimate or your limit break, whichever you want to call it. But pretty much using without your limit break. This is going to reduce the damage you've taken by 50%, delivering an attack back to the enemy of 2,000 every time you suffer damage. Duration is 5 seconds. Now, the combination with it that comes afterwards is Kazushi, which pretty much it gives you an increased damage that you deal to the targets by 25%. This only lasts for 3 seconds, so you want to combo with this with high burst damage. Mikyu Shisu, however you say that name, pretty much nullify status afflictions. That is going to be put onto you. It will be removed prior to being put onto you. So if you just click the button, there we go, it's on you. You got three seconds of pretty much not getting CC'd by anything. That can be removed by Purify. That's it, which will cover stun, heavy, blind, silence, half asleep, and deep freeze. All right, so once we already use this and put it on to charge into our battle, we're gonna get a high burst ability, Madeir Setsug Ka. I don't know how you say it, but that's the best I got for it. And here it is right here, boom. Instant 16k. Good high burst. Let's talk about Minucci. Minucci deals damage to a target equal to 10% of their current health or HP. Ignores the effect of guard when dealing damage. Deals damage with a potency of 4,000 to a player riding a Machina and non-player combatant. Yeah. Pretty much gives you a stun. Three seconds. That's all you really need to know. They have a lot of HP. You do 10% of it. And then you smack them and they're stunned. It's great. Last thing to cover is your limit break. Zentetsuken. Pretty much the thing that can wipe a whole party. You can 1v5 if it goes well. So the limit break itself only going to do 24k damage to one target. But if you're under effect of Kazushi, it deals damage equal to 100% of their maximum HP. And ignores them if they're in guard. You're going to kill them no matter what, pretty much. Now the way how to make this happen is you're pretty much going to be using Hisetsu cheating. And this is going to give you a 3 second ability window gap that you can use because it's going to increase the damage you deal to targets by 25 percent but with combination of your limit break it's just going to kill them flat out now that's all you need to know about it so if they hit you you kill them and it's over it's a wrap so 1v5 easy clap have it. this is a speed run guide of samurai real simple to the point and i hope it helps just remember you're kind of like a dancer but a million times better you're just going to be weaving in dashes in and out. 